Hello guys and welcome to another video by Get Set Python. In this series of videos on web scraping, this is my second video. So if you haven't watched the first one and want to get started with web scraping, link is given in the description below. It will also help you download the necessary dependencies. So after watching the big first introduction video, Many of you might have thought that web scraping is difficult, but it isn't. And you will get to know that in this 5 minute video. In this video, we will be scraping this top news section on this website using Python. So let's get started. First, import beautiful soup from BS4 and then import request now send an http request to the url using request.get function and in the arguments pass the url then create a soup object using beautiful soup by passing the response dot text and using lxml now we have to locate the element that we want to scrape data from so inspect around the top news section to find the element tag and you can see that our desired element is a ul element with class top str dash list space gap and top margin so locate the element using find function newsbox is equal to soup.find and pass the name of the element that is ul in class of it so copy this class and paste it here Now, to find the individual news item, we will search further inside this ul element. So, open this up and we can see that each news item is an li element, that is a list element. And moving further inside, we can see that each news is present inside an a element that is anchor element so to find all news use find all function on news box with anchor element as argument so all news is equal to news box dot find all a now we just have to iterate over each element and print the text inside it so running a loop and printing the text of each news item. Let's see what we got. So I'm just running this script. Well, it looks like the news got updated. So we will refresh. And there you can see that we got the exact same results as that on the site. Now making the output a bit nicer and running it again and that's it. We have successfully scraped top news from this website and all this in just 12 lines of code. So you see web scraping is not that difficult as it appeared in the first video. So summarizing the steps again, import beautiful soup and request library. Then send an HTTP request and form a soup object. And finally inspect the desired element and locate it using find and find all function. So that's it for this video guys. But we will be back with some more videos on web scraping automation and other python stuff.
till then get set python stay tuned bye bye